WEFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Del Rey Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, we've got all the U.S. indices trading higher. The Dow's up 245 points, 7 tenths of a percent. The S&P about 9 tenths or 40 points. The Nasdaq 100, 142 points, 9 tenths. Russell, big move, 2 and 3 quarters percent. That's 60 points to the upside. The semis are up 1 and 3 quarters percent. That's 57 points. Tranny's up 171. Spot Volatilix is down by is down by 12.58%. Remember, closes, one-day rates of change. That'll be at 4 p.m. Below minus 10% are initiation signals, meaning moving to higher price. Take a look at that. Boy, big move inside the XAU. Of course, I think I, it was yesterday that I gave you guys that trade, or was it the uh, day before? I can't recall which, which uh, was that uh, the uh, miners were a buy on that uh, pullback. And that certainly has proven to be the case out here. Big move, up nearly 4%. Gold is up 24 bucks. That's 1 and 3 tenths percent. Now, this is what you like to see here. You like to see the XAU outperforming the, uh, the metal. Uh, gold out there. Uh, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We've got about a minute maybe to take a look at it. They got the ES mini trading above resistance, the top of that daily profile we looked at yesterday. So it's signaling to you and I it's going to go target the 4600 level. That's the one to one A to B equals CD pattern. That's especially true as long as that spot volatilix remains below its 50 day exponential moving average 1774. The NQ, its first target is 155. 15,438. The second target is 15,635. That's along the A to B equals CD chain. The U.S. dollar index is pulling back to test support. The bottom of its bullish structure daily profile, that's at 92.59. Your price closes below that. Well, you can see that the U.S. dollar index is at support. Meanwhile, gold is at resistance, the top of its profile. So which of those two are going to win? I don't know the answer to that. But it does look like to me that and we talked about this a couple of days ago. Uh, September is uh, typically the strongest month for Goldilocks. So it's set and it's usually uh, July, August, September are the up months for gold. And we have got that nice bottom A to B equals CD by the D point. Gartley buy patterns out there for Goldilocks. So it looks like gold is going to win that battle. Silver headed up to the center of its bullish structure. Weekly profile, 2434. Lightspeed crew trying to take out resistance at 6862. Natural gas is on a tear to the upside. And the 30-year treasury might be targeting 167.04. The dollar, the treasury bond. It's, hey, folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show. We'll be back in just a few. The reality 